just give you a little idea of this little jungle pathway. This is pretty uh, incredible to be walking. There's my wife, my boy, Umberto, my friend, Andrea, and the guide, and the wild ass uh, howling monkeys, I think they just, they call them, I don't know. But they sound spooky. And uh, they're kind of fun to listen to. But this is just amazing, because you can be walking through the place, and all of a sudden you have just ruins like this. And it appears out of nowhere. You just can walk, I don't know how many miles we've walked, like three or four really slow pace because it's been pouring down rain and you got these little tiny mud trails and uh, yeah. I think we uh did one one just get you oh uh oh i gotta go protect my wife now bye-bye well her god said this is the uh the king's throne this thing i'm sitting on so he can watch the uh so he can watch these games played on that thing right there somehow bouncing balls uh, it's a great illustration of keep the masses busy doing silly sports and uh, don't pay attention to what we're doing back here at the temple well it is pretty cool all right gotta go now man this thing's really kind of high I don't know if y'all can tell but well, I don't think you can tell we're high if you listen closely, you can hear the howling monkeys. They sound like roaring lions. It's pretty amazing. Okay, here we are. We were looking at that temple a minute ago. Now, yeah, there's lovely Jill. And now, you can't get up there. And then we have some other tourists. Hey, tourists. This place is truly <laughs> unbelievable. And they let uh, the natives come in and tell the uh, park rangers or whoever that they're going to have a sacrifice for care or, <laughs> or a sacrifice for agriculture or family or something. And they let them just come over here and do their thing. How awesome. Well, this is the back side of the temple that we were just looking at. And they no longer allow you to climb up the big stairs. So they built this wooden set here. And it is uh, rotten in a bunch of places, but this one looks pretty decent right here. But that's it. Look at this thing. Well, to give you an idea, we're at the top of this thing, and this is the staircase we have to go down, and it keeps on going way down there. We are some kind of high. Wow. Well, our God tells us that this uh, temple is the, it's about the same size as the wife's temple that King Chocolate built for himself. That's pretty impressive. You call him Dr. Jones, doll. <laughs> Pardon, that's just my tribute to uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, if you haven't seen it. Okay, we have native Mayans out here at Tikal doing some sort of uh, ritual and sacrificing things to the gods, like coca, chocolate, uh, cigars even, all sorts of things. Pretty fascinating. We've been around this place. Uh, there's so many temples and they're even bigger than this. It just really goes to show that no matter what your religion, there are a lot of different ways to find spirituality. Uh, I personally just think it's a good practice to, to know the foundations of your spirituality and uh, to make sure that you're not being a pawn in somebody else's uh, game. But still, nevertheless, there are a lot of ways to, uh, to find some spiritual calm. And this is uh, what they're doing here. And it's pretty awesome. Wow. What a day being in the rainforest while it's been raining all day.
soaking wet. <laughs> See you next time. Yeah. Oh, it's very strong. Let's see if we can hear that. Okay. We're right on the edge of this jungle. We're right in the center of a jungle and uh, this ruins here. And there's uh, these wild beasts inside there. They don't sound too happy. And uh, we're going to walk through this pathway right toward them.